So this morning in the buzz, a federal appeals court is hearing arguments today on Narragansett's ordinance that allows people to place orange stickers on homes that host loud parties. Now, the law, <laughs> here's the thing. I mean, typically, you know, you're, I don't think the cops are going to go around and, and if there's a wine tasting party, a wine and cheese yeah, soiree, yeah, that they're going to say, a little get together. Oh, I'm sorry, your orchestra is playing a little too loud. You know, that's not what this is about. This law is aimed at helping police flag raucous properties. But the ordinance is actually being challenged by landlords and the students of the University of Rhode Island. And we knew that, you know, that students would probably have a problem with this. That, that goes without saying. But the landlords, too, now apparently do. Now, they both, both groups say it's unconstitutional and that the stickers unfairly stigmatize them. So the question is, you know, is this a scarlet letter kind of a thing. But it's an issue that comes up pretty often, so we asked one of our interns, who is a URI student, about the issue. Here's what she had to say. Orange stickers down there are like the badge of honor. It means that your party was so awesome that the cops had to get called. And usually, once you get that, though, they usually kick you out of the neighborhood. So that's usually the bad side of it. But most people forget about the consequences and just want to have that awesome party. Okay, so the what? question is, hmm. do you think the ordinance is unfair to students? What do you guys think? I find it odd that, um, not odd, I mean, it, they're kids. They want to, it's almost like, hey, look at this, we got, we got cited, you know? We're known to throw the best parties she on campus. She just said it was a badge of honor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's in, they're college kids. What do you expect them to right. you know? yeah, yeah. I, I can understand that. And until they get kicked out, you know, they're not going to learn their lesson. So right. think you, a sticker's going to scare them? I understand why the landlords are upset about this. Okay, why is because that? Because this is a major source of income for them, yeah. renting these houses. You think about it. How about all those houses down there in Narragansett area around URI? For nine months out of the year, they rent oh. them to students. Yeah. For the other for. three, yep. they rent them to the summer crowd mm -hmm. that want to just have a beach house down there by the beach. So if they lose that revenue stream, which is so big. I mean, kids trip yeah. over each other to be able to get the primo houses, the primo party houses off and campus. older people or, or people with families aren't moving down to Narragansett in the winter for oh. a few months. And no, but what do you think happen. about the neighbors? I mean, who, who live there yeah, and are I taxpayers mean, and, you yep. know. It's an unfortunate situation. I mean, you know, this is, uh, especially for people that have been there kind of before this big college uh, living there, yeah. boom, took yeah, off. Yeah, and but, I've, I've said this you know, before, it's a little bit different than moving into being by an airport. Yeah. You know, when you when you move in where there's an airport, you know, it, it's going, it could possibly get even noisier and louder and and that sort of thing. But when you move into an area that's a college area, you hope that people will be respectful. I was in college once. Yeah. I actually got out on time in four that? years. It was a long time ago. A lot of those brain cells aren't working anymore. But <laughs> I will say this, it was cool. You were the cool kid at my house where I live. We had a cool little setup there. Uh, you know, we had a lot of parties there. We entertained a lot of people. Mom and Dad, I know you know this because you got all the notes from the Golfstown, New Hampshire Police oh, Department. Boy. Yeah. But, you know, we were oh, like the cool boy. kids. Yeah, it was yeah. cool to be a cool kid. There are college. houses down in, in, in Narragansett and, you know, the, uh, um, I forget, forget the name of the area there. I should know. <laughs> I've been there down there. Yeah. But, I mean, they're known for that's a party house or this is a yeah. party house. And, you know, I'm, the neighbors, are, it's just an unfortunate situation for the neighbors, I think. Then. You should you should really stop going to college parties, buddy. See, yeah. I haven't been in a while because I couldn't. Yeah. Eastward, look, there it is. Oh, Daddy spent a month there one night. <laughs> Let me tell you. No, I want to throw it over to you because I would like to know from our viewers, you know, some who are college students, uh, whether or not they think that this is fair. Yeah, I know, and I have to say, you know, I live down in that area. My roommate and I, Meredith, live down there. And for the record, I did not get an orange sticker, so I just want to put that out there for everyone in case anyone's questioning. But I'm here in the New England Tech Center live blog and Fox. Providence.com. A lot of our friends are buzzing up a storm about this topic today, so let's see what they have to say this morning. Dick Nutwell says, anytime people are singled out because of demographic, it tends to hurt society. And Susie says, the stickers are not fair. Leave them alone. Sully writes, I don't think that being singled out solves the issue, but merely draws attention in a negative light. And in case you're just joining us this morning, I've posted the buzz poll question on foxprovidence.com. We're asking, do you think the orange sticker ordinance is unfair to students and landlords? Your choices are yes, it brands them as party houses, or B, no, it's the law and there are consequences. And our Facebook friends are talking up a storm as well. Amanda Fell says, the stickers will teach them that they need to respect their neighbors and that there are consequences to being a nuisance. And Sean writes, college is about partying, so just leave them alone. I think it's about a little bit something else too, Sean. And Arnell Milhouse says, it would be unfair if the police were placing orange stickers on every house that contained students. So a lot of great comments, and I think we're getting a little bit of everything from our friends this morning. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back at the end of the show with your web poll results. But